Hello and buongiorno. It is October 2021 and I'm back in San Marino. As you may know, I am mildly obsessed with the San Marino national football team and their 35 year quest to win a competitive football match. Three years ago, I came here to make a video about their 32 year quest to win a competitive football match. And if you haven't seen that yet, well, there's no point watching it anymore because I've just spoiled the ending. It is now 35 years, 158 competitive games, and they still haven't won a single one. So can you imagine what the party will be like when they finally do it? And I know I said this last time, but it could be tonight. And here's why. Tonight, right here in Cerro Valle, they take on Andorra in a World Cup qualifying match. Andorra at home. It might be the biggest chance San Marino will ever get to win a World Cup qualifier. And there is no way that we were gonna miss this. San Marino versus Andorra. I've had the date in my diary ever since the draw was made and the fixture was announced. And it turns out, I'm not the only one. So which bit of San Marino are you guys from? <laughs> the from Copenhagen the Paris. area? Paris. The Paris area? The Melbourne area? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires area, of course. Yeah, so all. Yeah, exactly. We are, About we are, as local as I am. Fans for many, many years. <laughs> this is Alexander. Yes. Alexander. Sergio. Juliet. And we all met on the bus yesterday. <laughs> and we're going to the game. So why is tonight's match so exciting? Well, the short answer is, it is very rare for San Marino to play a team anywhere near as small as they are themselves. San Marino is, and I cannot stress this enough, really, really small. This is a nation that could fit 18 and a half times into Luxembourg. So nearly any team they play against is bigger than them. And in case you don't know, European qualifying groups are deliberately weighted to keep the micronations apart. Each group must contain one team from these six different pots, and that makes sure everyone gets an even spread of strong and weak opponents. But Andorra have broken the system. Thanks to a heroic 1-0 win against Moldova a couple of years ago, they've made it out of the bottom pot of the seedings and up to the dizzying heights of second bottom. And by sheer luck, they've been drawn in the same qualifying group as San Marino. And here we are. San Marino may never get a better chance to win a World Cup qualifier. But they're not the only ones who could make history tonight. So apparently, <laughs> the, 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 Andorra never actually won in a way match. It's true, Andorra have never won away. So whatever happens in the next 90 minutes, we are guaranteed to see history being made. Um, unless it's a draw. But that's not gonna happen, is it? The ref blows his whistle, Nicola Nani lays it back to Filippo Fabri, he punts it straight to an Andorran defender, and we're underway in the big match. Can San Marino finally get that first ever competitive victory? Can Andorra win their first ever away game? Will either side manage to string more than two successful passes together? You got a prediction, Alex? Um, I do, I do. I'm going to say 2-1. In, to San Marino? In the favour of San Marino. Wow. Big call. And I think it's going to happen one to Andorra first. And then, and then come, come back, back win. Get an equaliser. And then a surprise second. It's going to be an amazing game. 2 1 as well? 1 0 last minute to San Marino. Oof. Oh, that would be incredible. <laughs> I know the stadium goes crazy. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> we jump to the stadium, like we hug with the player. <laughs> I'm going to say 1-0 as well. 1-0. Wow. It's unanimous. San Marino going to win. And two minutes in, it's looking good as San Marino go upfield and win the first corner of the match. <laughs> it's a decent chance, and while they didn't make it count this time, our optimism is looking well placed for about nine minutes. You said that was they're going to score first. We said you all said that was going to happen. Oh man! Oh, yeah, yeah, 
Ah. They nearly made it to 10 minutes. We just need the uh, San Marino to hold up their side and get the extra two goals. And they've got a whole 80 right minutes now. to do it. That's true. <laughs> At least there's a long time to come back. And there you go. It's only taken 10 minutes of supporting San Marino to drive two members of our group to alcohol. And Andorra are now very much on the front foot. By this point, San Marino are lucky to be only one behind, but then they get a free kick in a promising position. Okay, they didn't exactly make the most of it, but now, suddenly, for the first time in the game, San Marino are genuinely on top. They're creating chances, and they're putting Andorra under real pressure. But every cross and every shot just seems to go straight to the Andorra goalkeeper. It is encouraging though, and as half-time approaches, the fans can sense an equaliser. Oof. Congratulations! Should have been you two. Should have been two. And with that, it's half-time, with the score remaining at 1-0. And you know what? We're still in this, lads. It's only 1-0. This is a strong Andorra side, but they're not unbeatable. I mean, they're really not. Come on, San Marino, a big second half, and you can do this. <laughs> okay, I'll admit that is not what we wanted, but you have to say it's a well worked corner and a thumping finish from Sergi Moreno, and it's 2 0 to Andorra. The local fans politely ask manager Franco Varela to do something about it, and he duly responds with a substitution, bringing on the number 10, Matteo Vitaioli. And to be honest, at this point, we've decided to cheer wildly for any player coming on, in the desperate hope that it might inspire them to change the game. But what actually happens is that Andorra nearly make it three. Time to make some more substitutions. San Marino sostituisce il numero 4, David Tomassini, con il numero 20, Adolfo José Hirsch. Ed il numero 3, Luca Censoni, con il numero 18, Luca Ceccaroli. Unfortunately, though, all that cheering doesn't really seem to have the desired effect. You put too much pressure on him. <laughs> As the minutes tick away, the game starts to get quite scrappy, with more and more mistakes creeping in. And with only 10 minutes to go now, it's beginning to look like victory is slipping away from San Marino. For the 159th time. <laughs> Even the camera guy is giving up. <laughs> but come on, lads. At the very least, there's still time to score a goal. No, they're not you, Andorra. No, 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 no. Oh dear. Andorra, scored by number 19, Ricardo Fernandez. So, just to recap, we're now 3 0 down to Andorra at home. But on the plus side, this is a genuine achievement for San Marino because it's the first time any team has managed to concede three goals to Andorra. And at this point, the referee decides he's seen enough blows the full-time whistle, and it's all over. And you know what? Congratulations to Andorra. You could see what it meant to them. It's their first ever away win, and that third goal means it's also their biggest ever victory. It has been a truly historic night. Just not for San Marino. <laughs> we came from Paris. It was a long time, but it was worth it. From Cambodia. <laughs> Cambodia, Copenhagen. It was worth it. It was definitely worth it. Was it was worth it. Okay. You wait till you lose 159 or 160. <laughs> next time. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Lovely to meet you all. Yeah, lovely nice to meet you. you. And see you at the next, see you at the next game, right? <laughs> Ciao. Oh, man. I really thought they might do it tonight. And they've gone and lost 3-0. Um, but Andorra just 
they played very well. They wanted it more. They, yeah. I don't know what to say. San Marino lost. <laughs> what was I expecting? If you'd like to visit San Marino and support their legendary quest to win a football game, you'll need to get yourself to Rimini in Italy, where you can catch one of the eight buses a day that will take you up to San Marino. The nearest stop to the stadium is in Serravalle, but to be honest, nearly anywhere in the country is within a half hour walk of it. A ticket to this match cost me 20 euros. There didn't seem to be any reductions for kids or seniors, but if you're a wheelchair user, that 20 euros will cover a person accompanying you too. And as always, thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon.